Hey there everybody and welcome back to another very quick video tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to essentially embed a website within a website. So in this case when I go to codelessfix.com which is my website you can go to the free resume builder section and you'll see where I've actually put a web app that I built and I embedded it in the page. So to show you the web app looks like this and you'll see we have the URL here so we're in a completely different website. And then when we go to the website here, you'll actually see that page is built into this page. You can see the bit of a color change here and you can just tell that obviously it's a different site. Now, one thing to note before we walk into how to do this is make sure that you have the right to embed or share the website and all the applicable and relevant content before implementing this on your website. You can't just, in my opinion, take random websites, put it on there, advertise it as your own. So make sure you're following any and all applicable rules, laws, guidelines, etc. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe, check out the channel for new content, and then like the video to go ahead and let me know that you're supporting the channel. Now jumping straight in, this is a really quick and easy process. I actually got this code from over on Yuki. This is what the Codeless Fix forums are actually built on. So if you go to codelessfix.com and you go to the forums, you'll actually see another place where I've used this. So you'll see we actually have the forum page here. This is the Yuki forum, but when you embed the Yuki forum into your site, they have the embed code, and that code can actually be modified a little bit to add in new websites. So let's see what this actually looks like. If we go over to Hostinger, which is the web builder I'm currently using, and we scroll through and let's go find, for example, um, if we needed to find the actual professional development page and we needed to look at the resume builder, we can go find that page here. And then you'll see the little chunk of HTML code. So in your editor, you just need to go to either embed code, HTML code, source code, something along those lines. And then when you double click it, you'll have the ability to embed the code. So I will paste this in the description, but I wanna break it down and make one quick note. I will be replacing this with website in all text, just so you know that website is the only text that you need to replace with your URL. Now in this case, to break it down, you'll see we have the iframe style. I don't think that there's anything specific in this code that links it to being you know, Yuki's property. It's basically just some generic code. The idea here is we have the style, the border, the shadow, and then you have width and height. Now, me not being an HTML expert, I know typically you would do a width of 100% and then a height of 100% or a width of 100 VW and then a height of 100 VH. However, I was playing around with it and this was what worked best for me when viewing the web page on a mobile device as well as on a desktop. So looking at this in a desktop, you'll see it looks okay. I don't think it's the most aesthetically pleasing. But if we go into the developer tools and look at it as a mobile app or as a mobile website, you'll see that we're able to still view this as a full-size page. At 100%, it was much smaller. So general idea in order to embed something like this into your site, you can go into the description, check out my other video resources, but basically you would paste this in and then the text where it says website in all caps would be the URL for a website that you have the rights to share. So I hope that was helpful. Feel free to drop any questions you have in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.